Do you feel as if you're underweight? Or have you been on a raw diet or some kind of plant-based vegan thing or maybe the keto diet or the paleo diet and you feel as if you're underweight, you're not developing the muscles that you want or that kind of thing? Well, then this next video is for you. This is usually not something we talk about. We usually don't like to really talk a whole lot about weight or losing weight or gaining weight. But this is a question that I get so often. How do I put on weight if I'm practicing a mucus diet? It's kind of a complicated issue. But as you clean yourself out, it is possible to become whatever weight you're supposed to be. So I'm Professor Spear and I've practiced something called the mucusless diet healing system for over 19 years. I've helped thousands of people transform their lives using the methods found in that great book. And today I want to show you how using this information you can actually gain weight and gain good muscle if that's what your body is supposed to be doing by using the methods found in this book. So stay tuned for that. And before you do that, I want you to go down below, click the link, sign up for our Insiders Club and get your five free mucus-free recipes that will help you eliminate mucus from your body as well as the introduction to mucus-free menu planning. Go down below, click that link right now, get signed up, take action. You want to be on board, you want this information. This is how you're going to transform your physiology, transform your health and your life permanently. And without further ado, let's check out this video. I made this a couple years ago, back in 2019, in the before times. So check this out, and I'll talk to you afterward. Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and today I wanted to talk about a question that I get a, a lot from folks in the raw foods community or people that they say community or people that tried to join the raw foods community or tried to be 100% uh, raw fruitarian for a period of time with absolutely no transition. Basically people that adopted what we would consider to be a radical fruit diet or radical raw food type of diet. Now I'll say I'm not against raw at all. I Raw is within the systematic context of the mucus's diet healing system a, a tool it's a destination it's also should be understood that you don't want to restrict the tools at your disposal if you need something and there's a lot of people that need cooked mucus free foods or even cooked mucus forming foods ones that help them move away from worst foods so in the mucus's diet healing system our focus is on systematically and therapeutically transforming your body and moving toward mucus free foods and it's a, pro a progressive process so if you find yourself you've already you didn't learn about the mucus diet first and foremost or you might have heard about it but all you heard was Eric is a fruitarian thinker that promotes fruitarianism which is not true it's not that simple there's a difference between identifying the fact that humans are a frugivorous species, but at the same time observing how degenerate we've become, how far away we've gotten from who we are in nature. And the remedy then is a progressive way to change. You can't do it overnight. So far too often there are these People that are promoting things that are very, very aggressive, that long-term fasting protocols, long-term fruit-only protocols, being very aggressive with no transition methodology worked in at all. Because even a little bit of transition methodology can be hugely helpful and beneficial to folks that are just totally falling off the wagon. And, and having problems with these protocols that are going on. So if you're somebody that is in, has been in that situation and you find yourself being super thin. Now, first of all, you know, I've been there. I've, and part of this process, part of this transition and healing process, a lot of people go through different phases and there's different plateau points. You know, Brother Air went through phases where he was really skinny. He talks about going through phases where he was a little bit bigger. 
and you know, now he's real slender because he only eats a couple a couple months out of the year. I don't advocate that. No one's telling you to do that. What people miss with the Brother Air story is how he systematically pr practiced the transition for 30 and now almost 40 years relentlessly. So now he's able to do what he can do 40 years into practicing a mucus's diet because of the progressive transitional approach that he took. So he didn't do any three months to breatharianism protocol or uh, you know 100% raw food tomorrow 40 day fast right away kind of stuff. It was nothing like that. And when people go down those paths and fall off the wagon and go back to the raw meat and the you know drinking the, the goat's milk and whatever the, whatever they go back to when they fall off the wagon and it's ugly and nasty, then the whole movement gets a bad name. Just the entire naturopathic, natural living, fasting, fruit diet, all that kind of stuff gets a bad rep because people aren't transitioning. People are falling off the wagon because they don't even know that they were supposed to transition because not enough people are teaching that. And if they do bring up transition, they're very, very, there's no real sophistication to the discussion. It's very elementary and just say, okay, well, you transition and change this and that, and then in a couple days, you'll be raw. You'll eat nothing but fruit, you know. Man, we make an art out of this. This is an art and a science of transition. And everybody, I encourage everybody to become masters of that art. Pursue that. Pursue becoming a master of transition. It's the key. It's the key to unlock. If you have some vision of, of something that you want to aspire to in terms of some kind of eating habit or something like that, I'm telling you, transition is, is the way to get there because you're gonna get there for real. By the time you get there, it's gonna be real and it's gonna be permanent. It's not gonna be a falling off the wagon type of scenario. You know, you will have permanently changed aspects of yourself and your physiology. And so I work with a number of people that run into the predicament of they didn't know about the transition diet, they got into either doing some kind of fast really long maybe they had an ailment they were trying to work through so they just got into these really intense long-term fasting or long-term fruit issues and if you've never been on this path before it's easy to fast at the beginning conceptually we like to look at it as you're running off of your old stimulant and your old waste it's like the old uh you know if, this is a concept this might get out there but if you look at oil on the earth as like a waste product we found a way to refine it and run off of it but it's it's a it's finite at some point some you know probably going to run out of oil at some point if we i think i don't we <laughs> hopefully we will have changed and transformed the society by then to the point where we don't have to worry about that because if we don't the you know, pollution, you know, just the world is already going to be in such disarray. But it's like the, the dross. Eric uses word dross. It's, you're running off of this old stimulant, this old mess. So you can fast that stuff. You know, you can be fasting for months and, and just feeling great because you run, you're getting, uh, you know, running off all that old mess. Once you get past those first several years, now now we're talking, now we're getting started. So the folks that have been at this for years and years and years talking about they're doing 40 day water fast and that, 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 that's interesting. You know, that's someone to check out and say, okay, well, what was your transition like? How did you, how did you get to that 20, 30, 40 years in? What, what steps did you take to get to that? And unfortunately, a lot of, of, of the, the people that I've watched that do sort of promote some of these things they don't talk a whole lot about their transition and they generally don't have a great analysis of it of what they went through they teach they're teaching one thing that might be raw foods raw raw you know start here 
but they're not talking about the fasting that they might have did with cooked juices before they got into fresh juice or they're not talking about when they went to Taco Bell like I talk about how I started off when I was getting going, I was going to Taco Bell and, and I would just veganize stuff. Uh, and I got, and I put all that stuff in here. So even if I don't have a bunch of videos where I talk at length about it, the re one reason I got it in here in detail is because by the time you get to those stories, you're gonna understand and see and, and myself as a case study of what I'm talking about in terms of using the uh, transition effectively. For these folks, that find themselves in this situation, oftentimes they're not, they're just not eating enough. They're not eating enough transitional foods. Uh, they, they might, if they skipped over the cooked, we recommend cooked mucus free foods. All of that's all laid out in here, the mucus diet healing system book, how to do that. So basically you just get into this practice, the mucus diet healing system, get into practicing the system now if you're somebody that th this would be the one place where I would say if if you've already been into a, doing a lot of colon irrigation if you or if you have a predisposition to having some mental connection or a kind of mental issue connected to weight and things like that now we're gonna have another conversation on that so that psychological piece of being really like wasting away because you're actually not your your body needs food now why now from our perspective why would you need the food if you have all this acidosis toxic waste all this stuff that is and and and, and so dehydrated this stuff is very concentrated at this point and you need to hydrate you need to put chemistry through for the purpose of elimination so that's where our explanation and observation of why you need to eat is going to be different from someone else that just says oh they're not getting enough calories they need to they need to just go because then that approach is going to lead to just no judgment when it comes to what that person is going to eat and that and they could really mess themselves up if you got someone that really hasn't been eaten properly for a long period of time and then you say okay well they just need some calories they just need such and such and then they end up eating some you know some meat products or some dairy or some stuff that doesn't eliminate well i mean it could have some serious issues and i've seen this i mean i'm not just making this up i've seen people this happen to people i've also helped people that haven't eaten in months that are bone thin that that do have a little bit of a psychological issue i might recommend sedona method to uh, for the mental part of it but for the physical part i'm like okay we're going to transition you on to cooked food arid talks about that he had to save people from fasting improperly from too much fasting from over fast so that's essentially the kind of protocol and methodology that you want to investigate but essentially use again the principles of transition have i mean however slow you have to do it if you transition could be a couple bites of have a, a big raw salad a couple bites of cooked zucchini if you can't handle eating half of a cooked piece of zucchini have a couple just a couple couple bites over time you're going to be able to eat a little bit more and you're going to be at a space where you're eating enough there's another part in here where Eric says especially coming off of a fast and and generally speaking if you're not having good really good bowel movements oftentimes food combinations might be off but you just might not be eating enough if you're just eating so scant that it's it's not enough to really develop good bowel movements and push through then that that's becomes another problem so oftentimes going down this path get in here don't be scared of the cooked mucus free foods don't be scared of the mucus lean stuff the mucus diet healing system you do eat mucus forming foods but it's judicious it's not every day and you learn how to train how to use them when you need them when you don't need them you don't eat it if you don't crave it 
you're not, you have these plateaus where you're totally free of it. You don't crave the mucus forming foods, you don't want them, but when you need them, you got them. You know, you have that, you have those things there. And when you just start the diet, it's, it's good to experiment to find out what you can handle. Now, if you're coming from having been fruitarian for three, four, or five something months, then you're not going to be able to, you're going to have to transition to a point where before you start doing a lot of experimentation with like mucus lean things and that kind of stuff, you're going to have to really transition to that and transition focusing on the cooked mucus free foods, baked acorn squash, baked zucchini, uh, sauteed or stewed different types of vegetables. Find things that eliminate well for you. And again, always combine it with the raw salads. You never just eat these cooked mucus free items by themselves. Big raw combination salad. You can see different recipes for that all over the place in various books and stuff, but raw com combination salad. My method is to eat about 25% or up to 50% of the raw salad first and then start to incorporate the cooked item in and I'll eat the cooked with the raw. But I start off with the raw first. I found that that helps for elimination, that helps for uh, uh, just, just overall digestion. And so, so that's my, my methodology with that. But Again, that's, but it's systematic. I do the same thing every time, even if the items, the food items change, salad, the salad, the food items in the salad might change, but the salad is a principle for me, it doesn't change. So if I'm gonna be having cooked vegetables, there's gonna be a raw salad involved, period. I mean, that's just not a, I'm not gonna go eat vegetables without that raw salad or something else if I'm doing some kind of say mucus lean item like the starch starchy stuff cooked beans or uh, some kind of I, mean, I don't really I don't do the wheat pasta anymore but uh, back when I did that uh, something like that you know these things the way that you judge a mucus forming item if it's good to be used on the transition diet as a mucus lean thing or not is does it eliminate well for you? That can change over time. When I first started practicing the diet and I was doing the wheat spaghetti, it eliminated really well. So I was having this big salad, cooked vegetables, I had sauteed broccoli, sauteed, uh, it was uh, kind of steamed sauteed broccoli as well as cabbage and I would make these big things of tomato sauce and 100% wheat spaghetti. And that filled me up. I never was craving nothing. I wasn't hungry. I wasn't like, man, I'm hungry. Like that wasn't it. If anything, I would eat and then just have to chill. You know, just be like, like Thanksgiving, thanks killing type of vibe, you know, where I just eat and I'm like, okay, I, I better plan some time out. I'm not gonna be doing anything after this meal. Uh, if you got to do something, you better, you know, you can make the meal, refine the meal a little bit. Don't eat as much. I'm not saying that you have to eat all that, especially if you're coming from that fruitarian thing. That's not, that's not, that's, that's not the goal. But I'm just saying the principles are the same, whether you're coming from that or you have to transition back to something that's not as aggressive and not as extreme. And once you find your plateau point, then you are able to you can always be more aggressive. You can always do a longer fast. You can always, once you have the principles down, once you really have a grasp of how to do these things in a short-term basis, you master the 24 and the 48 hour fasting protocols, all you're then doing is applying what you've learned in the 24 and 48 hour time block to a week or a month or dare I say a year if your brother air you know these it, it's it's all relative the time thing people get hung up on this time stuff because they as I've never I've never had that methodology of planning out a set period of time you know I, even with the you know just the goal I don't even like that having a goal and if you don't get it not being hard on yourself I just and I understand a lot of people do that they'll say okay I'm, I'm shooting for 40 days or I'm shooting for this or that I really took to heart what Eric had to say 
about you monitor this every day every day you're looking at what's going on and if certain as it says in, in rational fasting and mucus's diet when the waste that's in the system becomes more obstructive than the body's ability to eliminate and move this stuff through you want to break your fast and that was like a aha moment for me reading a book because it it showed me how systematic and how brilliant the methodology is brilliant in its simplicity you you gotta follow it <laughs> you gotta it's, it's simple yet potent and so if you're doing a fast you say oh it's one thing to be like okay i'm gonna just let me just you know take it like a day at a time okay day one 24 hours okay day two yeah you might not be feeling too, that great usually those first couple days might be a little rough by day three or day four if you're if you're pushing on through it and it and you don't feel and, and the, the logical question then is well how do you know how do you know when there's too much waste going through your system and you need to break the fast that's where that's that's exactly why we say start off with short-term fast because your body will teach you that you will learn how to feel that because as Eric recommends or says everybody's safe to do 24-hour fast one meal a day plan look at how sophisticated this is I don't see nobody's talking about this other than me and the few of us that's in this mucus free community there the, the it's logical it's just straight logic start off with so if you're eating three or four times a day let, let's let's get it down to eating twice a day you might eat more in each meal but you know eat twice a day maybe maybe three times a day maybe you have some fruit in, in a breakfast breakfast kind of situation eat two meals a day then as you're moving towards your fasting experience what's it feel like to eat once a day then you do a 24-hour fat you don't eat anything all day what's that what's that experience like and I'm not talking about sometimes people when they do a 24 hour they're really talking about the one meal a day like every, they're eating once every 24 hours in my mind when I talk about fasting for a day or 24 hours that means you get up you don't eat any solid food you go to bed and then you get back up and that is your new day and you fasted for one day so that's just my personal analysis of that it's, it's just so logical one day 48 hours you, you work your way up because if you can do 48 hours you can do 72 hours if you can do but the lessons that you learn along the way are vital and that's what i don't see people talking about or doing I mean, I see there's some people doing it, but uh, but a lot of the people, the influencers here on the tubes, that kind of gradualism is not something that is popular. And so I'm gonna keep talking about it because sooner or later, you're gonna need to learn the wisdom of gradualism when it comes to transforming your physiology permanently. It's not a quick fix. It's not an overnight deal. It's not a a month or a 14 day cleanse and none of that kind of stuff this is about total transformation of your physiology taking it to the next level and if you follow those principles transition yourself back you can get, ultimately get your body to wherever it's supposed to be for that particular time in your life in your transition it's going to be different over time there's going to be years where you might be slender other years you get a little heavier it depends on what's going on with your transition your physiology so that's all i had to say about that you know please like share subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the new videos that i put out and until next time peace love and breath oh yeah forgot to mention if you don't have all seven of these books why don't you pick them up they got a great deal for you links in the description get all these books for one price and get started if you need if you want to order read this first read mucus's diet healing system first then read volume one of spirit speaks then rational fasting then you know you can kind of take take it take it from there so thank you all until next time peace love and breath
So I hope that you enjoyed this video, but it means nothing if you do not take action. So right now, go down below. If you haven't done so already, click the link, sign up for our Insiders Club. Get your free gifts, your free PDFs, mucus-free uh, recipes that help you eliminate mucus, introduction to mucus-free menu planning. Also, if you really want to get into this, you need the books. We have seven books bundled together for one low price, the mucus-free ultimate book bundle link for that's down below and if you're really really serious about getting yourself together getting into this work you want to get into the mucus's diet healing system e-course link for that is down in the description as well the main thing is take action whether you want to gain a little bit of weight lose a little bit of weight stop blowing your nose all the time stop coughing up all kinds of mucus this is the path to help you be able to do that gradually and permanently. It's not a quick fix. It's not an overnight thing. This is a total transformation of your physiology if you do this the right way. So hope you enjoyed yourself. And before you go, I want you to take a look right here. This is a great, great video that I made just for you. I just want you to click right here and I will see you over there.